Parents' Day, that annual camp ritual where all the campers' parents visit the camp to see their kids win awards for their favorite activities. But before you can hand out awards, you've got to have a stage to hand them out on. Okay, kids, we've got a stage to build. Why build a stage when all the world's a stage? Shakespeare said that. If you help me build this stage, you get double ice cream after dinner. I said that. <laughs> and they say Rome wasn't built in a day. I know why. They didn't have any ice cream. <laughs> While we were building the stage, Robin was sniffing out a scoop for the camp newspaper from her furry friends. Okay, guys, what's up around the forest? Uh, you don't say. Robin, what is it? Oh, and the on the Oh no! Robin, tell me! Look, look, look! I got to do something! Robin, will you tell me what's wrong? Sammy says there's gonna be a tremendous rainstorm! For how long? Either 40 days and 40 nights, or 40 minutes and 40 seconds? I'm not sure. My squirrel's a little rusty. This is terrible. What if all that rain washes away the homes of my animal buddies? Where would they live? We've got to save them. As Robin rapped with a rodent about the rain, I was busy stitching the kids' nifty awards patches. Best swimmer award. I think that goes to Rick this year. Entree, Iggy. So, what's up? I just wanted to let you know that if you need me, I'll be at the infirmary. Lunch made me sick. But, Iggy, lunch isn't for another hour. Yeah, but why wait for the inevitable? Oh, you're making the awards for Parents' Day. I don't suppose there's anything there for me. Sure there is. Take a look. Here it is, the award for most days in the infirmary. Congratulations. I mean a real award. Something my parents can be proud of. Ah, uh, let's face it, I'm a wimp. Wait a minute, Iggy. Tell you what, Ig, I hereby volunteer to coach you in the physical activity of your choice. Then your parents can see you win a real camper's award. Okay. So what are we standing around for? Let's get going. <laughs> Come on. I go through more shirts that way. <laughs> Maybe we can build the animals a shelter. Let's check the old arts and crafts book. That's it. We'll build a giant ark and rescue the animals just like Noah did. But where will we take them? I know. You remember that wildlife preserve that John took us to? You mean Eden Island? Right. Here it is, at the far end of Lake Cacciatore. Robin, this could be dangerous. I don't think John will let us go. Don't worry, I've got that all figured out. Come in. Hi, girls, what can I do for you? John, Alex and I want to build a big surprise for Parents' Day. What exactly are you going to do? Can't tell you. Then it wouldn't be a surprise. Well, you got me there. How can I help? Mm, we'll need the classroom all to ourselves. Okay, girls, it's a deal. And remember, no peeking. Whoa! <laughs> I go through more shorts this way. Let's see. These plans are for a toy arc. How will we make it a real arc? No problem. We'll just multiply. Let's see. The toy arc takes 30 ice pop sticks, so I figure a real arc will take 3,000. Now to get 3,000 ice pop sticks. Last one to the mess hall is a melted ice pop. Let's see, where's the recipe for chunky lard milk? Bosh! Larry Bird is outside. He wants to play some one-on-one -on -one with you. Larry Bird? <gasps> yeah, you'd better hurry. Patered. <sighs> I hope you're hungry. One more ice pop and I'll be one. I guess you can have too much of a good thing. 
While Alex and Robin were diving into the ice pops, I was trying to get Iggy to dive into the pool. Don't worry, Iggy. A proper dive is perfectly safe. It's just water. It's cold water. The sudden change in my body temperature could give me cardiac arrest. I can't do it. I'm freezing just thinking about it. <laughs> Iggy, wait! I told you water sports were dangerous. That sure tired me out. <laughs> How can you sleep at a time like this? I'll never get a merit badge. Why can't those woodpeckers peck during the day? Oh, well, that should do it. <sighs> it better be. I'm pooped. Saves a lot of wear and tear on the vocal cords. With Robin and Alex all done with their ship, it was time to embark on their perilous trip. But, Mom, I don't want to go to school. <laughs> Girl, I'm not your mother. It's Robin. <laughs> it's time to gather up our beastly friends. Bright and early the next day, I tried once again to help poor Iggy win an award for Parents' Day. All right, Iggy. If you can climb to the top of Athlete's Foothill, you'll get an award for mountain climbing. But I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, but it, it's only four feet high. But you don't understand. My fear of heights stems from a traumatic childhood experience. What happened? Well, Binky and I have bunk beds, and my parents made me sleep in the top bunk. So? That can get kind of rough if you're a sleepwalker. <laughs> Come on, Iggy. I'll try, but I'm not making any promises. I uh, guess this means hang gliding is out of the question. <laughs> While I was trying to convince Iggy to climb a hill, Robin was trying to convince her furry friends to climb aboard. Guys, wave your troubles goodbye. We're taking you all to Eden Island. They don't sound too thrilled. Uh, they've just never been in a boat before. Guys, you're gonna love it. We're talking berries in bed, and every night we show Bambi on our wide TV screen. Robin, what are you promising? We can't do any of that. They don't know that, and we've got to get them on that boat. Voila! Mr. and Mrs. Bear, you'll be in stall seven on the lower deck. What's the matter? He wants to know if we've got a health club. He has a little spare tire from hibernating all winter. I know what he can do for exercise. Push the ark to the lake. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Bear, time to start your exercise program. <laughs> oh, hurry. Don and the kids might see us. <sighs> Thanks, folks. Now get back on board. So, where's all this rain, anyway? You want a weather report? Ask a groundhog. Here comes the rain. Robin, you were right. We can thank my squirrel friend for that. And we're off. Destination Eden Island. With the parents on their way, I had to find something for Iggy to do. Other than running away, that is. Okay, Iggy. Due to the rainy weather, we're gonna try some rope climbing. Now, I'm sure you're not scared of a little piece of rope. Ah! Wanna bet? 
Come on, Icky. Just imagine how proud your parents will be when they see you win that award. But imagine how upset they'll be when they see me in a body cast. Come on, Iggy. You want that award, don't you? Okay. No more Mr. Wimp. This time I'm gonna do it. Ah! Iggy, you don't need to... Oh, run! Ah! <sighs> this coaching thing can be hazardous to one's health. <sighs> Whoa! Let's face it, John. I am a wimp, aren't I? We've got to stay on course! Oh, no! We've lost the map! Alex, look at the wheel! storm. It's blown over. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Well, so much for 40 days and 40 nights. Oops. Mommy? Uh, do you see Eden Island anywhere? Nope. It's nowhere in sight. Oh. Do you see Camp Candy? No. Alex, we're alone. Robin's plan to save the animals had gone awry, and they were badly in need of something to eat, like uh, ham on rye with extra mustard, or, you know, a little slice of pickle or something. I don't see Eden Island anywhere. Or Camp Candy, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> What's with them? They're getting hungry. I guess it's time to break open the food locker. Lucky, when did you get on board? Boy, John's dog is a real pig. At least we've got some water. Let me guess. Hey, you had to wash down all those cookies with something. You know, I'm getting kind of thirsty. Yeah, me too. <laughs> While Robin and Alex were working up a thirst, Iggy was whining up a storm. Woe is me. Any minute my parents will arrive and see me win the Wimp of the Year award. Cheer up. You make Darth Vader seem like a party animal. Not bad, but something's missing. I know, my very own designer label. There, Mumsy and Daddykins will be so proud. And my parents will be so embarrassed. They'll want to exchange me for another kid. Iggy, it's Mom and Dad. Oh, my babies, my babies. Thank goodness you've survived another summer in this wilderness. Mom, it's only summer camp. <laughs> Greetings, parents, and welcome to Camp Candy. Hello, John. We just can't wait to see our babies win their awards. My life is over. Hello, John. Where's our daughter, Robin? Well, I... And where's Alex? Her old man's been missing his little gal. I bet they're still working on their surprise for Parents' Day in Arts and Crafts. <laughs> uh, I'll bet. <laughs> Well, I say we pay them a surprise visit. Robin, Alex, your folks are here. Time to finish up that surprise. I don't see them anywhere. I'm, uh, I'm sure they must be here somewhere. <laughs> say, John, just what kind of camp you running here anyway? Humana, 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 humana. Um, they've probably taken a little hike, but uh, we'll get them back here before you can say uh, family reunion. <laughs> Duncan! Yes, Head Counselor Candy? Duncan, assemble the staff. We've got to find Alex and Robin. Yes, sir. Nurse Molly!
Robin! Alex! <laughs> Mommy! Ah! Well, where are they? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find a clue under this tent. Hmm. The arts and crafts book. And it's open to the plans for the model arc. What's this? An ice pop stick? John, console candy. All ice pops we bought for Parents' Day? They're gone. Hmm. Plans for an arc, the heavy rain, thousands of ice pops missing. This can only mean one thing. No dessert? <laughs> He's kind of new at the counseling game. It means that Robin and Alex must have built a giant arc to save the animals from the rain. Counselor Candy, look at these. Hmm, those look like arc tracks to me. And they lead straight to Lake Cacciatore. To the dock! Oh, oh please, watch it, buddy. Oh, ooh, lady, please, the high heels. Oh! Could uh, we try that again? Single file, please. There was only room for three in the boat, so I had to choose my crew very carefully. Nurse Molly, you'd better come in case we need first aid. Now I need one more able-bodied volunteer. Me! 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 How come you're not volunteering? Why bother? John would never pick me. I just wimp out in the clutch. Seeing Iggy so down in the dumps, it hit me. This was the confidence builder he needed. For my third volunteer, I need someone brave. Strong and daring. Iggy, you're my man. Iggy? Iggy? I mean, me? Hey, how many other Iggy's do you know at Camp Candy? Come on. Not my itchy, bitchy baby. Come on, Ma. Do you really think I can help? I know you can. Mom, I'm not a baby anymore, and I've got a job to do. <gasps> <sighs> Boy, am I hungry. Uh, Alex, get a grip, girl. Sorry, I guess I was thinking with my stomach instead of my brain. I sure could use something to eat. I blew it. We're lost. We got no food or water. We can kiss parents' day goodbye. My dad must be so worried. My folks, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but we're all in the same boat now. So why don't we all relax, take a deep breath, and yell for help! Ahoy, Alex Robin! Prepare to be rescued! It's John! There's Molly. I want you to guide our boat as close to the ark as you can. I'll throw them this rope and we'll tow them back to shore. Aye, aye, Captain Candy. John, another storm is coming. Wow, that's one angry storm. Nurse Molly, could I trouble you for some seasickness medicine? Darn. Nurse Molly, can you get me any closer? Not in this choppy water. I've got an idea. We'll use that blowhard of a storm and parachute over. Iggy, hand me the camp flag. There's one problem. This parachute just isn't big enough to hold an adult. Iggy, do you think you could sail over to the ark? You want me to put on these ropes, dive off the boat, sail high into the air, and land on the ark? That's right, Iggy. Ropes, height, and diving. <laughs> My three favorite fears. Uh, can I get back to you on that? Sometimes a wimp's gotta do what a wimp's gotta do. And a boy, Iggy! Geronimo! Oh, whatever possessed me to do this! Iggy? Who are you expecting, Peter Pan? When it comes to Mother Nature, promise me that from now on, you'll let the animals take care of themselves. Okay, Mom. And the same goes for you, Alex. 
Sure, Pop. Excuse me, pal. Is this Farm and Woods? You know, where it's open season on all the animals? No, sir, this is Camp Candy, where hunting the animals is strictly forbidden. What animals? I couldn't find one doggone critter in your woods. You know, just between us men, have you ever considered knitting for a hobby? I find it manly yet very relaxing. Manly yet relaxing, huh? You know where a fella can trade in a shotgun for a pair of knitting needles? Robin, if you hadn't taken your animal friends on the ark, they might have gotten shot at. Gee, I guess you're right. Oh, Robin, honey, we're so proud of you. Congratulations, Robin. You saved the animals after all. With everybody back safe and sound, it was time to give out the awards. And for our final award, the Camp Candy Cluster. Thank you. An award for bravery, leadership, and keeping a tidy bunk. The winner is... Iggy! All right! Oh, Iggy! Way to go, Iggy! Congratulations, Iggy.